It's a bird! No, it's a plane! It's... Just a guy wearing his pajamas. Hey, buddy, the underwear goes on the inside! Today, we're going to talk about the original hero himself. The man that all other heroes copy after. Superman. This guy has a really, really long list of powers, so this episode is going to be split into two parts. But don't expect the next part to come out next week. So I've done enough rambling. Finally talk about the Man of Steel himself. The first thing that we're going to look at is his strength. Now, Supes is really strong, and I mean really strong. He was able to pull an entire planet out of orbit just by hooking himself up to Green Lantern's harness. Superman's strength peaks at, get ready for a really long number, 7 duo decillion, 211 undecillion, 374 decillion, 720 nonillion, 235 octillion, and 469 septillion pounds. Now to put this in perspective, Earth weighs 13 septillion, 170 sextillion pounds. Now this is outrageous. This number is barely a fraction compared to how much energy Superman can produce. While it might seem like he struggles to pull the Earth, it would be like you lifting a bouncy ball, not even that light. If Superman were in the real world, there'd be no way he could do anything besides break everything in his path. Every fight or any time he hit anyone, they would easily die. But the amount of energy released by his punches, as long as he's in the Earth's atmosphere, would cause a shockwave that would affect the entire planet. This much energy in a single point has the capability of generating enough energy that a black hole has the possibility of forming. Man, that guy really packs a punch. The next great feat of Superman is his heat vision. And, contrary to popular belief, his heat vision has unlimited potential as long as he is within half a light year of the sun, which he pretty much always is. If you remember the episode on Flash, you'll know how unlimited heat will affect the rest of the universe. It would create a Kuga Blitz. So while Superman does not always push his limits to make this absurd heat, he has the capability. If you don't remember what a Kuga Blitz is, I'll remind you. A Kuga Blitz is when something is so hot that the energy present in that one point is enough to instantaneously cause a black hole to form. Kuga Blitzes are so hot that they push the upper limits of how hot something in the universe can get. To explain this a bit more, heat is energy, which means that it has a wavelength. Scientists have discovered that there is a point where the total wavelength distance cannot possibly get any smaller. This would result in heat that is so hot that we could not physically be able to understand what would occur. Though we do know that there would be enough heat that a hole will rip clean through reality. So now that we've looked at his unimaginable heat, let's view his equally unimaginable coldness. Superman's freeze breath has the capability of reaching temperatures near absolute zero. We have never found any place, even the outer reaches of space, that have temperatures this low. If Superman were to use his freeze breath on the ground for long enough, the entire planet would freeze over and as just one structure. This means that if we were to do this, the entire planet would end up being one single structure, like the nucleus of a really big atom. Nothing within this could move independently from one another because it would be completely solid. Sorry, a Bose-Einstein constant. To elaborate, the Bose-Einstein constant, or BEC, is a state of matter which is formed when an object approaches absolute zero. The particles in the BEC are so cold that they don't have enough energy to vibrate or move at all. Everything would buckle because nothing could hold its own, and had to do everything in accordance with the rest of the planet. Though there is more to the Boy Scout's ice breath than this, it too, like almost every other power he has, creates a black hole. The reason being is that any particles that are touched would have their atoms, electrons, and neutrons could no longer repel each other, and stay completely mobilized because of the lack of heat made from them to lose all the energy they had thus canceling their natural repulsion. They would lose the energy that they had so fast they would end up creating a black hole because they would be squished together so tight that they could reach a point of density which is both infinite and finite at the same time. This is called quark deficiency. Use that term at a party. You will automatically become the smartest person in the room. Afterwards, you will probably get beat up because you're a geek, but it's only just because you're jealous. At least that's what my mom said. Hmm. Well, the next thing that we can look at is his ability of flight. While well, his ability to be dense enough to manipulate gravity of the Earth is definitely repulsive enough to talk about, we won't focus on that. Yet. What we are going to talk about is his actual flight itself. Superman's supposedly top speed of flight is the speed of light, but this is not true. Superman was able to travel to the sun and back in roughly two minutes. This means that he can fly about eight times the speed of light. He's also fighting Wonder Woman while he did this, so it's theorized he can fly faster. Now, if you see Superman flying, he always has his fist or fists out in front of him. While this may seem like he's just trying to show off or look cool, there's actually some fact to this. While flying at these speeds would probably kill everyone on the planet because he's generating so much heat, but it could be worse. If you were not making this cone-like shape to reduce the friction, he would, again, make a black hole. But he may make a black hole regardless of his cone shape if he were in the atmosphere. 
Again, another power where he can make a black hole. There's way too many of these. Hey, but it's their funeral. I mean, their call. Sorry. Their call. Well, there it is. We finally tackled this hero. The hero, if you will. Not because he's my favorite. Just because he was made first. My favorite hero is... But back to Superman. This guy is... What's the word? Awesome? No... Incredible? No, that's not neither. Oh, that's right. OP as heck! I mean, what is it with this guy? Who gave him his powers? The DC Comics people just standing around trying to imagine the most OP character? How strong should it be? Hmm, a few distillion pounds sounds good. What about heat vision? Infinite sounds good. What about frost breath? Absolute <laughs> zero. Perfect. Just perfect. Sorry about that, but I have um, uh, certain issues with these types of things, as you can probably see. So don't let that ruin your experience watching this video. I know, I'll give you some good news. This episode is just part one. That's right, your ears don't deceive you. I bet you're probably jumping out of your seat from this news. I'm probably over-exaggerating. But at least me and the rest of the scientists are excited about this. So remember, whether he's causing the apocalypse by either heat or cooling, Superman still doesn't know how to wear underwear. That's it for this episode. Remember to leave a like and comment on what hero you would like to see perform in the real world next. We're the Superhero Scientist. Signing off. If you want to watch our most popular episode, click the video on the left. If you want to see our last episode, click the video on the right. Also, go ahead and tweet us at SuperheroSci or email us at SuperheroSci at gmail.com. Oh yeah, if you like the content we release, go ahead and subscribe.